think we're on. Hello, hello. Let me check my microphone and make sure that's working before I get started. And I know the last time that I started, I had like no microphone and that totally stunk. So let's see if it's working before I get too long-winded here. Let's see. Honey, do you think my microphone is working? All right. It's an all go. Well, hello, everybody. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Oh, am I getting overfeed? I'm sorry. Hope everyone had a wonderful um, Christmas, and I hope that everyone is looking forward to a wonderful new year. I definitely am. Me and Don are just getting ready to redo our entire studio, so I'm very excited about that. We've got some upgraded cameras and some cool things, but before we get completely involved in the new studio, I wanted to make some for my new studio because this area that's been my backdrop is going to turn into my classroom because we're going to be offering um, classes here at my artistic studio. I'm very happy about that. And we're going to be moving More my... Classes. Bigger classes. Bigger classes, yes. <laughs> we're going to be moving my recording studio into the conference room. So pretty exciting thing. But what I'm here with is a piece that I have been lugging along for probably a good two years now. Um, it was found on the side of the road and made its way here. Um, and we've never done anything to it, but I've always loved this china cabinet. It has these beautiful cathedral um, inlays on the inside. However, it's one of those pieces that you'd never want because it's, it, it doesn't come into two pieces. So I got to looking at it and I realized something really cool. It a can. We'll, we'll bring it apart real easily. We're not chainsawing it, Don. My Lord. No. <laughs> that wouldn't be very artistic. Well, I guess it could. But I've I, seen guys cut like whole timber, whole trees into a beaver. They can do it. I can do it with this. I don't think so. But it is solid mahogany. I saw on the back. However, I don't know what I'm, colors I'm going to do with it yet. So if anybody wants to make some um, choices about some colors that they'd like to see in the background or colors they haven't seen before or techniques that you haven't seen before, let me know um, and I'll see if I can do it. My mind's still spacing. But as for now, what I'm mostly excited about is that I discovered I can, in fact, turn it into two pieces. And I'm probably going to need Don's help for this. He's going to be totally ticked. But I had a great idea. Because if I can turn this into two pieces, I can have a sofa table that I'm going to have behind me. And then I'm going to do some shelves. But I'm going to turn this upper part into a curio cabinet. Now, when I'm driving down the road, I'm always going, oh, my God, there's some junk. There's some junk. I need to go get it. Josie suggests that you should ombre it. Ooh, that'd be beautiful. I would if I was going to keep it into one big piece. However, you know what? I could ombre it. I'll come up with that. I got another idea too. Dude, Dodson showed me how to do some gold leafing the other day, and I thought that was pretty neat. So I might look into that. But I was driving down the road the other day, and we had the big item throw away. And when was that? In fall. Oh, and yeah. there was so much stuff, and I am just packed up to here in my hoard. I can't take any more in. However, it's not only during the big throw out, I noticed there's a lot of couches on the side of the road. And who wants a dirty old couch, right? But what's cool is that if you can't get the couch and the couch is nasty, you can take their feet. I think that's cool. Let me bring this up close so you guys can see this. These are solid wood feet that I got off a sofa set that was completely chewed up by the dogs. All the fabric was completely tattered and ruined, but these feet just easily just screw right out and you, and it doesn't take up much space either. So I have eight of these feet and I've got four that I'm going to be using. And with my mind, I'm thinking that I'm going to take this top off and I'm going to attach these feet to the bottom and make a little curio cabinet. So that's going to be pretty cool. So this is my idea film that we're going to be doing here. So I know I'm going to make two separate pieces of furniture out of this one china cabinet, but the first step is definitely taking it apart. So we haven't even addressed that um, everybody, did you guys have a good New Year's Christmas? Yes! Did you do that? I did. I said I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and a happy New Year. We well, definitely do. I was just going to say that um, 
people are just saying hi. Well, hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Well, I, how do I do this, babe? I want to take this off, like now. Unscrew it. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to unscrew it. Now, this is what's kind of cool. I have this on wheels. So, I'm it's still kind of a pain in the boot for me. It is. Now, if you go inside your cabinet, I'm going to take this top drawer out here. Look at that solid wood. Look at that and those beautiful. It is fantastic. It is gorgeous. This is what you know is quality whenever you see these little, they okay. call them dovetails. Yes, and this one's nice and tight on there. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I always look on the inside of my pieces and see if maybe I can find something cool to have to tape to the bottom of the drawers. I've never found anything. One time I found a pair of old underwear, but that wasn't good. That's nasty. It was nasty. <laughs> Let's see. This has a bottom to it, so I'm kind of wondering. I don't see any Hi, screws Melissa. up here except for there's one here and there's I one looked, here. I, say, I thought we looked at, well, wait, they I don't know, Don. I don't know. Okay. I do know that there's a bunch here. So I'm going to go in here and get these ones first. Godspeed. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's hard to use this screwdriver thing upside down. What in tarnations? I would seriously, I just use a screwdriver. You would? Some. Yeah. Because the drill is just a pain in the butt. If they were Phillips head screws, then I would totally use a drill. Okay. But flat heads are just a pain. Is this one that I stole from you? Nope, never seen it before. You probably, who knows where you stole that from. The one thing I liked about the drill was that it had. Oh, honey, I can't get in there. Uh oh. Mike Glass said, don't let it fall on you. Oh my God, Mike. It should be okay. It's, it's level. I tried shaking it. Did you ever finish getting that insurance plan set up for you? Yeah. Okay, carry on. <laughs> All right, there's one. Uh, uh, uh. One screw. And it looks like there's none on this side. There's got to be at least two. There's two in this side, though. Three. I see three now. Okay, so let's unscrew this one. Oh, yeah. You know those little handheld screwdrivers that have a battery? I don't think that would help in this case. I think it would totally be awesome. I don't think so. It's the flat blade thing. Flat blades suck. They do, because you have to get the angle just right. right. I wonder if anybody can identify this piece. Like, is this Duncan Fife, maybe? or? Oh, I think it's Duncan Hines. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it's a pretty good quality piece to me. It doesn't feel like it's flimsy or... I don't know. This thing seems like it's pretty old. I bet you it's from the 60s or 70s. On the back, it has some markings on it. But the only thing I could make out from any of the markings was um, mahogany. Because it was literally spelled all the way out. So. Ooh. Hey, Darlene Lawson. Hello, everybody. My arm is... That's not a good angle for anybody's arm. Yeah, we really didn't think that portion of it through. What portion? This part. That Screwing? Um, the unscrewing? The, the angle of, hey, at least you. Oh, look, I got another one out. At least your butt's not hanging out. No, no, don't let me have, yeah, I wore a long shirt. Oh, a ratchet screwdriver, that's a good What's one. a ratchet screwdriver? It's a screwdriver that goes. Oh, that would have been nice to have. I had one. Did I lose it? Probably. Well, I'll be there. All right. Roxanne Butler likes Three. the idea of the couch feet. The couch feet is such a cool idea, right, you guys? Because think of all the things. You can make little doggy beds, little doggy and animal beds, or a little piggy bed if you have, my, my sister has a pig, you not know? Not my husband. She has a real pig. Not my husband, my sister. No, I said not your sister's husband. Rich. He is not a pig. No. But they have one. They do. They have an actual four-legged. And I named him Bacon. Original. I'm not calling him Bacon. She gets really ticked off. She loves that pig. 
Apparently it's really smart. My dad got really mad at it because it was biting him because it wouldn't feed him, so my dad punched it. <laughs> and But it's like, they, they're not small. No. They're huge. They're a freaking pig. They're not, you know, it's supposed to be this little pot belly pig, but nothing about it's little after it was a year old. It's like 200 and some odd pounds. That's it's a big stupid. pig. So pot belly means nothing in my world. Oh my gosh, there's only two screws on this side. Uh-oh. Uh, Tracy, hi. How are you Oh, doing? no. There is a screw on this side, but it's covered by like a... Wait, well, if it's going, if you can get it at that angle, I'm pretty sure that it's not... No, there's a screw in here. But it should be going up, not... Yeah, but there's like a piece of, a square piece of wood in here that's covering oh. half the screw. It's like a triangle piece. And it, it looks like it's just glued in, so I can probably just whack it out of place, but... Part of me really wants to get up and hold the top of that for you. I know, right? I'm freaking out about it my own self. really just kind of wants to sit here and watch it happen. No, you better not. Oh, damn it. I mean, dang it. Now you've got me paranoid. Oh, thanks, Mike. Now you see what you've done. Jesus. Well, at least now Mike you, was looking out for me. Well, now you all have to look at it. Nobody wants to. Oops, sorry. All right, so I've got to figure out how to break this piece of triangular-shaped wood out of here. And I'm just going to... Hammer. Yeah, and... And a bigger screwdriver. Hold this from me. Okay. Yes, it's lifting on that side. It did too. I can look at it and see it. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really done there. All right, hold on here, guys. There's like a, I wish I could get a camera in here so they could see what I'm looking at. But it's the only way for me to get in here and expose this screw. Here we go. Or there's no screw there. I was imagining it. There's no screw there. What are you doing with that? I think it's right up to my face. Okay. So there's no light. Can they see what that is? So I, I thought there was a screw here, but there's not. Nobody can see that? Do you have a light? Okay, so here's what I'm working on. So if you look, there was a screw here. This is a first. We're trying. Okay. It's upside hey, down. Hey, what does it matter? You ain't the idea. Okay, well, just so you know, it's upside down. And then there's a screw back here. And see how they're flathead? And this super sucks to try to take a flathead screw out. And what you guys are seeing is upside down of what I'm seeing. I don't know why. You would think it would be right side up. Oh, But see, these are kind of in there on a weird angle. Ooh, oh my gosh, I can't do it with the camera in the way. Take the camera back. Alright, hold on. Ooh, but you giving me this light for in here really helps matters. Alright, see, somebody screwed this in crooked like. And oh my gosh, Don, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And don't let that fall on my head. Okay, this screw is really screwed up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Almost. Actually, not even close. I only got to turn one time. It's like it's stripped or something. Here, you did that one for me. I'll hold it. Let's do this. What? Let's see. It's coming up. See? See? It's coming up. It's coming up. Don't just rip it. Give me, give me the screwdriver back. There's more screws on the back. That's why. See, there's like six of them all the way behind. And if I don't get this one out, you better. It'll be fine. I don't want to die. Oh God. So why don't you do that? Turn it around. How about you just get this screw out? 
for me because I'm fighting with it too much. I feel like my screwdriver is too wide for the hole of the screwdriver. Will you get that screw out for me? See if you can get it. See, this is what's great about having a husband to help you. <laughs> it's too hard. Get that piece. What is that? Oh, let me try it. I told you I didn't lose it. Now what? Oh my gosh, it's working so good. This thing is so cool. Right? We should have people buy these. Look. They're really smart. Got it at Lowe's for like four bucks. Really? Yeah. I forgot I had them. I'm glad that uh, we, they reminded them. It is the brand of Cobalt. Cobalt. Cobalt blue. Correct. Dang, it's kind of still. This whoever screwed this screw in didn't screw it in straight. So it's like wonky. They probably screwed it in. They're probably all like, I can't wait for some idiot to get this thing 50 years from now. And I'm going to just put this in here all wonky just to mess with them. And it did. Little did they know it was going to be broadcasted on national Facebook. National Facebook. International Facebook. Now the whole world knows that this guy was a screwy screwer. What? What? He was a screwy screwer. From the side. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Okay, now I do have to have you come to the front, honey, because when I unscrew the bag, this thing's gonna come down. I don't wanna be on this thing. Listen, everybody loves to see you. You're just so handsome. They, that's the facade. You're Let's so handsome. All right. Oh, you want to turn it all the way around? Oh, that's true. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. All right, now if you see, there's screws going upward this way now. And then there's some nails too. But see all those little nails? we got to pop those too. So there's a couple. Well, you got to get these screws first. Well, I'm going to do these first. Hold on. All right, there's one. See? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh geez, that's really stuck in there. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh yeah, that would help, huh? All right, there's one here. Just gonna... Get that one out. You know how to do it? Yeah. And then let me get this one. And then this one. And then don't just, don't just throw them. I like to save them because they're old. And I think things that are old should be kind of saved because I'm crazy. All right. Put these up there. Woo. What? Don't. What? Well, I was working it and then I lost faith in it. And then, okay. And then I went to my fingers. So what do you do? You just hold it on this blue part. Look at that, guys. One. It's all darn burnt. Oh, there's a dead cockroach. Uh. I'm just playing. It was a roly-poly. Okay. Oh my gosh, Don, hold on to that sucker. I think this is all it's going to take. Either this is going to win or this is going to fail. So everybody be ready for something. Something's about to happen. 
Okay. Drum roll. Let's turn it around. Just move it from the bottom. Let's put it back against the wall. Dee dee dee. All right. Oh my gosh. It came up on your side. Why is it still stuck on my side? I wonder if they glued it. There's no more screws here. Oh, I see one too. I see two more screws. Where's my ratchet? Okay, don't let it fall on my head. You have oh no. 10 minutes. Well, I need a shorter screwdriver. I need a short one. There's one, two screws here. I think. There's none there, two there, and then there was three there, but. We don't have a short short screwdriver here, Becky. What? Sure we do. No, we have a I had a little fat hand, remember? This one? Oh, no. What do I do? My hand's not strong enough just to turn this. Nope. I need something to stick into the hole. Oh, what are you going to do? Watch this, everybody. Really? All right. You don't have to hold it. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, I don't think, okay. I was going to say, I think, what happens if you pull out that next drawer? There's, um, there's a wood. Yeah, they, they got them sectioned off. That was my first plan, but then I realized there was a big chunk of wood there. And I think this will work. I just need to find a screwdriver that's short enough to get in this little... Well, I Cavity. think what we need to do at this point is wrap the show. In okay, the and then to bring home a new screwdriver? Yeah. Okay. We can bring home a different screwdriver. Because that screw is not moving. Yeah. Donna Burroughs loves her ratchet screwdriver. Donna Burroughs has one? Yeah. Donna Burroughs is a cool lady. Yeah, I really does. like her a lot. I sent her some unicorn spit. I don't know. I'm trying to go lefty loosey, righty tighty, but it's not budging. It's like more like stripping the screw than it is allowing it to go. What's up with that? Unless I'm upside down and therefore it should go the other way. It may be that. Well, let's go home. Nope, nope. Yeah, and then come back because now I'm obsessed. All right, fine. I'll put it down for a minute. We'll get it tomorrow. We, we will. Have the proper so, tools because you know what's going to end up happening. Uh, one of us is going to get frustrated, namely me, and we're going to hit it with a hammer. I don't want to hit it with it. <laughs> I like hitting things with a hammer. You do. He gets mad and he'll be like. This. Anyways, but I can tell, see how it's oh, coming up? Hold on, Joanne wants to know, where did you get those boots? These boots I got at Fry's Grocery Store. Grocery Store. In Arizona for $12.99. Super cool, right? I saw some like it on one of those Facebook things, and I was like, hmm. Anyways, so I love grocery stores. Anyway. So, tomorrow... We are going to come back and we're going to get this sucker off of this top. We're going to have two things and there's only two screws in our way. I'll bring the saws off. No. And oh, we're yeah. going to get those two screws out, but I have to find a short handled flathead screwdriver because there's one hold. screw here and there's one screw here. Got, and I that's all there. that's holding us back from getting this sucker done. It's driving me bananas. 
We were so close. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did see it wobbling. I told you this whole thing will come off as soon as those two right here are released. We're going to be able to make two pieces out of this thing. So tune in tomorrow and follow along with me to my idea of turning one of these attached china hutches into two separate pieces um, and make two little tables and incorporate some feet from a couch I found on the side of the road. I didn't take the couch, took the feet. Hand screw real easy. So tune in tomorrow. So that couch smelled like pee pee. That couch did stink. It, had, it probably had the roaches. It probably had the roaches. Just going to put that out there. But I left the roaches and took the wooden feet. So don't be afraid to go unscrew them. They're very easy to come off of pieces of furniture. A lot of times they're solid wood. And if you go to Home Depot, those feet run about for itty bitty ones, little tiny ones, like this big, were $9 a piece. These are huge. These are actually, look at this. It's beautiful. Can you believe it? These were on a couch on the side of the road. I'm telling you guys, treasures everywhere. So tune in tomorrow. Let's get this thing done, and until we see you again, be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow.